All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this episode, we're going to check out the progress of the yield farming here on the KuSwap decentralized exchange on the KuCoin network. And we'll see how this has been going. You can see the price of KuSwap is about 187. And guys, you know, the entire market has completely tanked recently. It went up a little bit and then of course it crashed. And you're going to see that a lot because of trading and trading on leverage especially. The market really can't go too much in one direction either way because it has to offset different leverage positions and different positions that exchanges hold. And so you're going to see, you know, you're going to see the volatility. We just hope over time, even with volatility, that we continue to go up and that's what's happened you know with crypto since the beginning really bitcoin and these decentralized dexes can provide a good type of passive income generation where you are the exchange and you're not paying the exchange the centralized exchanges to process these transactions they're going on the blockchain and you're paying a fee and that fee gets redistributed to the people that put up the liquidity so it really puts the power back into the people and in this case this is on the kucoin smart chain similar to the binance smart chain and i've seen the progress of this go up and down you can see that my liquidity is at 83 so what i decided to do was the last couple days i actually have been selling my ku swap that i get for the dividends every single day for usd tether and just trying to hedge a little bit because in the grand scheme of things, you know, with the market conditions and everything, what I decided to do was when I got out of a last yield farming project, if you guys have been following the channel since the beginning, I got out of the Octree project. I had been yield farming for around six months and I got into two different things. I split half of that between Cardano, just buying some Cardano and holding it and then getting into the KuSwap yield farming here. And my Cardano position is currently from $1,000 invested down to 863. I can't display it on the screen here, but I do have that saved in my block folio and I'm looking at it right here. The position is about 863 versus this position is at 747. However, I do have some USD Tether in my wallet. And so it's about 30 something dollars worth. I've been doing that for about the last week or so just to hedge a little bit against because I just saw the price continuing to go down. So you can see $33 USDT plus this 750 is about 780. So really we're about, you know, $80 away from the Cardano position. To me, looking at this, you know, I did have a stop loss at about 10%, but because the market dipped, I decided to make that 20% stop loss. And so it has gone under that and I can continue to be patient with this or I can kind of maybe move on to something different and something better. And I did find something different called Trader Joe. And this is actually on the Avalanche blockchain. Now Avalanche, we'll talk about a little bit, get into it. I've been kind of looking at it recently. I had a few buddies in my Telegram send me some things about the Avalanche blockchain and they've been having a good experience with it. So I decided to check it out and see how it does. This one seems to be the most popular right now, this Trader Joe, and this one seems to also get the most volume. So recently the Joe price has gone up 53%. I probably should have done this last night, but I just decided to give KuCoin a little bit of time. Now, of course, you never really want to buy in on a 53% pump, um, but because I'm yield farming, my risk is somewhat lessened because you don't gain exactly with the market. So because this went up 53%, the Joe that I was yield farming didn't go up 53%. And so if it went down, you know, 10 or 12% or 20%, it's not going to hit you that hard. It is going to hit you, you know, a little bit in the liquidity, of course, in the USD volume. But the way I see this Joe price, I really think that it's going to continue to pump up to around $12 and then I see it settling at around eight and that kind of being the new floor for this yield farming token as you can see they only have 500 million total supply so very low supply still a good amount circulating there not a bunch that is still coming into 
the market. So for me, I'm deciding to pull my liquidity from KuSwap because of a few reasons, okay? A few reasons. Number one, because the KuCoin exchange is not using this as their main DEX. They aren't even acknowledging that it exists. For me, that is not good because that leads me to believe that KuCoin's probably either gonna make their own decentralized exchange for their own network and they're just still working on it. So that's why they don't wanna back any other ones. Number two, because my Cardano position at the same day, I put $1,000 into each and this one is down more and you're earning every day with this. So the fact that it's down more and I've been compounding and it's down more than just holding a crypto, that's another reason. And number three is because I see the potential with Avalanche Network and the Trader Joe DeFi. It's looking pretty good. They do have a lot of different partnerships that they're getting into. It is fairly young. Of course, I would have loved to get in this at two cents. That'd be absolutely absurd. Even a dollar would have been great. But you know, the last 30 days, guys, this thing has absolutely taken off. So yes, you're going to have some people that are probably going to be taking profit. Now, when are they going to take the profit? Maybe they've already been taking profit. That's the thing with these things. You know, someone could have bought the coins very early, of course, and 100x on this, definitely. But that doesn't mean they've just been holding the whole time and just waiting to dump. So for me, I think it's a risk reward worth taking. You guys, of course, do what you would like to do with your KuCoin yield farming liquidity if you are yield farming it as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to remove the liquidity. So this is what you do. I'll show you guys in the video. You just go minus there. I'm gonna take the entire amount, press confirm. Don't worry about harvesting your rewards because your rewards will automatically get claimed once you remove your liquidity. So that's a cool thing about yield farming is you don't have to waste fees on both. Even though the fees on KuCoin are super, super cheap, that's the one good thing I really do like about KuCoin versus even the Binance Smart Chain and even Avalanche. Avalanche is very similar to the Binance Smart Chain as far as pricing goes on gas. So you're looking at, you know, 40 to 50 cents per transaction. You know, not too bad, okay? It's not as good as KuCoin. KuCoin is literally like three-tenths of a penny per transaction. Now that is what I like. But like I said, there's just there just isn't enough reasons for me to stay in this. So maybe there'll be a better KuCoin DeFi in the future. That, Like I said, that the KuCoin exchange maybe comes out with, and that's the one they decide to back, and that's the token they decide to list on their centralized exchange. That will be the one that I get into. Okay, now with this, I'm going to press remove. Okay, I'm gonna go to max. That means you're removing the pair. I'm removing both of these pairs from the decentralized exchange and it's going to put that back in my metamask wallet in half kucoin token and half kuswap so pretty awesome all right so then first you're going to have to hit is approve okay now it may take a little bit it was a little buggy as you can see it didn't give me the button to press but it will come up you know that's another thing about kuswap is maybe turning people off is it does get a little buggy at times like sometimes it doesn't display the information and sometimes the buttons take a little bit longer to work so you know the big whales sometimes they can get a little turned off on that and they can actually you know not like that so you know little details like that go a long way and I've seen pretty good details with Trader Joe and the Avalanche Network so we'll dive into that right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell my KuSwap tokens now for KuCoin and actually I'm going to send all of that KuCoin to the KuCoin exchange and I'm going to sell that for Avalanche because that's a good thing about KuCoin is they actually do have Avalanche on their exchange and you can get to it from the Avalanche smart chain which is their C chain. All right, so I'll show you that real quick in this video as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is trade all this for KuCoin. All right, so it's gonna give me 36.3 for confirmation. So no hard feelings over the KuSwap exchange. You know, we, we gave it a chance, we tried it out. It wasn't the best timing because the market was kind of in a downturn, but all in all, I do think it's still a reputable exchange. It's not shady by any means. It's just, I don't think right now they have the backing that they need. You know, this is a really cool feature. Look at this, you get to claim your KuCoin 
swap tokens just for exchanging pretty sweet so i forgot to do that i will claim that as well and yeah i'll just probably hold on to that no need to really do anything else with that it's asking me to withdraw now i need to pay a gas fee to claim this and there we have it guys so now what i'm going to do is like i said so what you're going to want to do go over to the kucoin exchange kucoin.com deposit make sure you click on kcc if you've never done this before this is not an erc20 this is a kcc blockchain now with kucoin there is actually two different wallets for this okay your wallet address will be right here all right so don't mess up because on binance they are the same which is great that's why i, lo I really love binance and you know with this it's different so just be very careful so yeah guys i'm not going to send it over in the video i'm going to do that after but i'm going to show you but i'm going to show you the avalanche blockchain real quick so we'll get off of this i will put a link in the description that will show you how to get onto the avalanche blockchain really simple okay really simple it's just like the binance smart chain it's just like the kucoin blockchain Okay, just like that. So you go in here, do the custom RPC, you put in this information, all right, you go up here, put in the information needed. All right, so you're gonna go over here, I already have it in, but you're gonna go to custom RPC, match this information right here, simple as that, five things you gotta paste over here, copy and paste, click save, now you're on the Avalanche blockchain. Okay, it's gonna be the same wallet as your other ones, far as the same wallet number and all that but it's on a different blockchain now you can access it on a different blockchain all right so when you're sending from kucoin you need to choose c chain okay it's going to ask you do you want to withdraw this on the avax blockchain or the c chain you do the c chain okay so just always make sure guys like when i did it i withdrew just a little bit to test it make sure it worked and then i sent over the rest if you want to do that just to make sure I recommend that as well but as long as you're sending to the c chain then you will receive it in the correct wallet all right guys so then you come over here trader joe you have a bunch of different pools all right and they also have their own exchange so you need to provide liquidity on trader joe which is very easy to do you just go over to pool and then you can find the pool that you want to put your liquidity in for me i did the joe avax pool all right just click on that and then you're going to add the amount of joe to the amount of avax has to be the same on both sides and then you would put that liquidity in if you want to remove it just come over here same thing and you remove it simple as that and then you can trade like i said you can trade i like how they put the little charts in there as well very very nice and then over here at the farm is where you're going to want to yield farm okay so for me i decided to do the Joe AVAX, which is about 144% APR. So you're looking at a little less than half a percent a day, which is nice. So I'm just holding these rewards because I think the Joe price can get a little higher. So I'm going to hold that until I think it's at a good price to sell those. And then I'll get my rewards that way. And so I'm gonna add that about $700 over here as well. So that'll give me about 1500 over here on Trader Joe. So it should be good. And you know, if you want to just stay diversified and stay in the KuCoin, exchange feel free i just think that this is a better opportunity and i feel more comfortable just putting my bulk of my yield farming into this and using it that way and then still using the binance smart chain of course for different projects and little you know, coins you can find but maybe some of those will come over here to the avalanche network i'll be on the lookout for those as well so guys if you guys like this video please consider hitting a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future updates and future strategy videos and what I'm doing to make some money here with cryptocurrency. So if you guys like this, I appreciate you sharing it with a friend or a family member. It would really help me out as well. So guys, until the next time, we will talk again. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.